this is our local National Trust property and we love visiting here. I have to say, not only for the coffee and the fantastic scones, which are a bit of a given, but this is a fantastic house. And when we're not in lockdown, you can go in the house and you can walk through it and you can see some of the family history. The Beddingfield family have lived here for the last 500 years and they still live in the house now and I can see why. It has got a fantastic vista out over the Norfolk countryside. The house was built in 1482 from bricks that were only really used for our residences and it's not till I did a little bit more research today that I realised the level of royal history that this house has. The Beddingfield family were initially loyal to Richard III during the War of the Roses and when he was defeated at the Battle of uh, Bosworth their loyalties changed to Henry VII and he visited here with his wife Elizabeth of York and also um, his mother Margaret Beaufort who was probably little known in history but was really the matriarch of the Tudor, Tudor dynasty. He then became loyal to Henry VIII and uh, the Beddingfield ancestors were responsible for imprisoning Catherine of Aragon at Kimbolton Hall in Bedfordshire and also they escorted Elizabeth I when she was, uh, when the rumour was that she was trying to overthrow Mary Tudor off the throne and the Beddingfield family escorted Elizabeth I to the Tower of London. So this, is, has, a, this has a rich royal history. to explore the grounds we come over this wooden drawbridge and it goes over the River Gadder which is actually um, a chalk stream and if you look at it it is so clear and there's so much uh, vegetation growing in it that it is absolutely uh, wonderful to see how clear and how vibrant it is. The, this was all put here uh, by one of the Lord Beddingfields and it's linked to Our Lady's Wood which he built in memory um, of his wife and it's a little bit of a folly and there's a circular route so that you can take round it and explore some of the little uh, buildings to hide out of the rain and then you can also continue from there and go and walk through the, the rest of the wood and it brings you back round to the church and then back round to the house. designed it to be a semi-formal landscape um, and it's got a waterfall and it's got a stream that runs through it and there's a couple of these little buildings here, follies, um, where you can shelter out of the rain. Very wet, isn't it? Looking at the all the sort of bulrushes and everything. Well, this has definitely been different today. Well, it's the first time this has been open, isn't it? Because yeah, they just bought the yeah. extra an perimeter track. An extra two miles to walk around is fantastic. Yeah, how oh, wonderful. Keep an eye out for more deer then. Yeah. Deer buzzards and warblers or something, I think it said. <laughs> 
Not that I know what one of those looks like, but... Christmas is here, bringing good cheer to young and homey and the bold. Ding dong, ding dong, that is the song. We This is the den building area. Imagine the kids having lots of fun in here. Reminds me when we were the scouts when we were kids, playing wide games. You know, the days before tablets and phones and... and the only bit of real television for us was the banana splits on the Saturday morning. But I'm really showing my age now. And multicoloured swap shop, yeah. Audible one, 801, 8055. That's How many of you can remember the telephone number? That's pretty impressive. <laughs> I couldn't have done that. But I reckon I could have made uh, one of these. Yeah, interesting. It is really, isn't it? Yeah. You've done a great job with the sort of interlocking and weaving the fencing all the way around. Yeah. The children in better weather times having a great time in here. Yeah. Hey babe. Yeah. How pleased are you you've got Wellingtons on? Very pleased today. <laughs> Otherwise I think I would have had dirty feet and very wet feet. I think when you're coming to Norfolk they should hand you a pair of wellies at the border. <laughs> I think you might be right. I think that's the only way to uh <laughs> to survive. Yeah, yeah. It's uh yeah, I think the best piece of advice I can give anybody. You're gonna come live in Norfolk. It's so agricultural and so outdoors. This area is the home to the largest man-made forest in uh, in the UK as well around Thetford, which is only just literally half a mile to our right. So it's really good to be outside, but you really need your wellies. These here are absolutely amazing. They must be, well, I don't know how many hundreds of years old, but they are really incredible things. Oak tree. Yeah. yeah. And there's the, next, the one at the side of it as well, which is even more. Well, it's still got the, uh, the top and the leaves on it, hasn't it? Yeah. It's a bit like the Whomping Willow from Harry Potter. It is like the Whomping Willow from Harry Potter. You're right. But there are no Ford Anglias parked in this one. No. Yeah, no, this is really impressive. This is all part of the new boundary walk, which has just opened up. It's a fairly recent acquisition, as I think we've already said, but it's a, uh, uh, it's interesting. This area here is uh, interest ground for nesting birds and at certain times of the year, no doubt, and well, you can make it out, but there is a uh, nesting uh, or a viewing point up in the tree there for the wardens to keep an eye on it. Well, that's Oxborough Hall. It's taken us about an hour to walk around, an hour and a half. Uh, it's about a four mile uh, easy uh, walk 
not the greatest if you've got push chairs or, uh, or, or wheelchairs or any sort of disability requirements in places. The main hall area is quite good. Once you get out on the tracks, it's quite muddy and a bit, because uh, with some furrows, it's quite natural really. But nevertheless, it's an excellent way to spend an hour and a half. And we'll put all the links underneath in the, uh, in the log so you can find maps to where it is and links to the National Trust website. And uh, well, we've had a good time, four miles for us, just enough left now in the legs for it to go for a run. Uh, so we're going to crack on, uh, have a good day.